All right, everyone, how you doing? I'm back. All right, this is going to be the second video. Uh, I might have one more just showing some actual PlayStation 2 uh, screen information and getting the MAC address and how to find the MAC address. But what I wanted to just show everyone real uh, now that I've been using the Excellent Kai program for a couple weeks, when I left off last time, if you watched the first video, it was going into the uh, port forwarding. I haven't been on here for a minute now, so let me just log back in. And this is really just a refresher of the last video. I just want to touch base with something quickly before I actually forget and I don't put it in. Now everyone knows with Excellent Kai, you know, you have to download the program and you know you just create a, uh, a login with an email address and uh, you know like I said I use um, Gmail no big deal because it doesn't use Hotmail and Yahoo it's a little finicky towards some of the email addresses but anyways just to reiterate you if you cannot log in uh, normally uh, when you watch the first video you might have to go in and do the port forwarding in your in your um, router now this is my D-Link router when I go down to port forwarding here, okay. Um, when I go to the port forwarding here, because this route is very easy to get around, all right. It already shows me, and all you have to do is make sure that you port forward the port UDP. You don't have to worry about the TCP. UDP 30,000, allow all, and you put in your. This is the computer uh, uh, IP address, and that's really about it. The other thing that you should do which I already done is uh, right here under the enable UPnP the universal plug-and-play just click it sometimes they're automatically not clicked for peer-to-peer -peer plug and play functionality so I just clicked it you know you save the information save the setting and it, it does uh, sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't help but it's certainly not going to hurt and that's just like I said it just allows peer-to-peer plug and play functionality sometimes when you do this you actually don't even have to do port forwarding but I've done them both and it works for me uh, no problem now on the other video that I have it's gonna show how to get your uh, Mac address from your PlayStation and the more, most important thing with that now that I have been using it a little more frequently there there are sometimes you will have errors that come up once you log in and I'm gonna do that once you log in, uh, you'll see sometimes different errors. But let's say, for example, when you go to your PlayStation, you log on, you keep the door open, and it's going to go browser or system configuration. Once you go and you hit triangle, it's going to show you your MAC address. You only need the last four numbers of the MAC address, whether it's two numbers and a letter, a letter number, the last four digits. All right. I already have it actually saved here in my uh, favorites and you're gonna you're gonna go right here where it says um, you can type it up in Google just type up uh, excellent Kai IP generator alright uh, really simple I mean I don't need to uh, you know uh, excellent Kai IP generator no big deal whoops I'm sure everyone can see that, but you know, just for the people who can't. Just type that up in the uh yeah, whatever. You got my meaning. Jiminy crickets. Now, let's just say whatever it was, uh, I'm just going to make something up here. You put in the last four digits, all right, you just put it in here, th these little boxes right here, and you just hit calculate. Make sure you have it clicked on, it's going to give you whatever your, I that you have to write that down. That's going to be your excellent Kai IP that you're going to use, and now you're going to plug that into your PlayStation 2 in the net network configurations under the manual settings, okay? But you want to make sure up here that you are either Sony PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, Xbox, whatever you're using. All right, I'm using PlayStation 2. Put in the four numbers. Boom, you get your 
and I, and then really you're pretty much done with that. I mean, I saved this tool IP generator in my uh, favorites, but you know you can do whatever you want. So you write that down. <coughs> the other thing is, which is very important now, I'm using Windows 7, and I have a Microsoft Essentials for you know one of the virus protections. Now Microsoft Security Essentials, which I sometimes when you log on, let me tell you. Uh, your general things which is in the first video you're gonna see configure Kai start Kai and start user interface alright usually because I have the different orbs or satellites already uh, I already have them little icons I made quick shortcuts which you can find a lot of information which is really great on the excellent Kai website alright and if you just go there and like I said, I have that also. In, it, sometimes it's just easier to have some things in favorites. I already have it here. And it's e e easy to get to. You just go up here. That's me big. All right. But you can just go up here to forums. It, let's say new topic. And then they've got all kinds of uh, different forums. The general help, PlayStation 2 community. You, you can pretty much find out anything you want to find out. All right. And if you go back, there is a search section. You want to hit search. You have a specific thing you want to look up. Like if you're getting a certain type of error or whatever, just type that information up here. You know whatever you're getting. All right. And it's uh, they're 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 really good about that. Now, as far as Windows Essentials, I ran into a problem where I could log in. I, I was I've actually played uh, some games. But then, when a new room was made, sometimes you know we make a new room. Uh, I couldn't get into that room. Sometimes, when a new room was made, I could not get into that room, no matter what. So I'm going to show you right now. This is a. This is what really helped me, and I can get into really any room. Whenever a new room is made, it was a huge help, and it was like really trial and error. So I'm giving you guys this and I, I really hope it helps and this is really if you have Microsoft Security Essentials alright now what you want to do is you have to allow Excellent Kai to be able to run through the virus protection so you just hit settings okay scroll down to where it says real-time protection you're gonna unclick that alright and then just hit save and that's just gonna be temporarily you get a little window that comes up alright then go down to excluded files and locations now you see I already have it in my excluded files and locations area if you don't know where it is it's going to be blank at the time all right and you're going to have to just browse for it all right and when you go down to uh, C drive all right you're going to go down to program files x86 and then you just scroll down and look for excellent Kai and you just left click on that hit OK it's going to put it up here in this top box and then you need to add it this add button will be uh, highlighted and you just click add and it will put it down here and that's a file that you've added to be excluded alright and then you just hit save changes no problem alright and then you're gonna go back to real-time protection you, you're gonna turn on the real-time protection again and then hit save changes no problem and in a, in a minute your security is gonna be back up it's green and now we're good now once you finish this uh, what I would do is immediately is just restart the computer because then that's going to reset everything up. You know, you obviously everyone knows how to restart and no problem. Now, that's that was a huge key for me. Now, if I go, for example, to uh, I'm just going to go in the first Arizona orb, you're going to get this little uh, now. Let me just tell everyone else there offhand I can sit here and tell you but there's a um, you go into the forum and it shows you how to change the orbs and make individual icons for each one Toronto Ottawa Sweden Australia and it's much easier sometimes you cannot see a game or you only see if there's 15 or 20 people on if you go on to a Toronto orb you might only see five people and you want to see everyone you know and people will be chatting and I'm going to show you that so you want to be able to log in and out of some of the orbs quickly and once you get usually I use these three the most and sometimes Australia because that works really well so I'm just gonna open up Arizona real quickly All right, it's gonna pull up this engine that's the Arizona engine and if this is the screen you're gonna see alright now right now 
it's my server is going to be Arizona and it's not going to see my council at the moment now I'm going to hit pause for a second I'm going to turn on my PlayStation and I'm going to plug it into the router and then you're going to be able to see what you're supposed to see here and that's a crucial thing so hold on one minute. all right I turned my PlayStation 2 on and unfortunately it was already so fast this is what you want to see you you want to see configured successfully PS2 PS3 now uh, this is, I got five minutes I really would hate to make another video so I'm going to try and do it real quickly if you don't know anything about the excellent Kai software which I did not it, it's really trial and error and that's the way it is you hit this little uh, globe here alright and this brings you to all the main games here you got clans GameCube uh, PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 whatever but what I want to see is first off this screen right here Network reachable, yes. Here is your uh, server, whatever it happens to be, Arizona right now. And your network card, it says locked, yes. You click this little file, and this is what you want to see. PS2 configured successfully. All right. Now, for me, I go down to PS2. There's all these different games that are supported by Halo, Halo, all these different things. SOCOM 2, you click on the green. All right. SOCOM 2 NTSC. These are the people that are on right now. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a Thursday, and then everyone starts typing up different uh, whatever they want to talk. Now, right now, down on the bottom left, it says "Set my arena status." This little left guy up here is how you set arena status and whatnot. So I just hit just me, or if you want to have more people, whatever. And I'm just trying to join, so I just hit, "Hey, I'm just trying to join." Now this little file up here you click that one or two or three times there is a question mark here if you want to get information on what these things mean idle whatnot these are the people that are in the room right now besides myself I, I won't see myself over here but you want to see people's ping 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 it says establishing and whatnot okay now real fast look I'm gonna exit out of here real quickly and I'm just gonna go down to the Toronto orb same thing as I got it quick and that's what you want. I'm going to get a s same exact screen over here is all the different people that are logged on in different games. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass. It's going to now I'm on a different server. I'm on Team Excellent Kai. It's already configured successfully, which is beautiful. All right, I go back. Now it says network reachable not yet. Now I'm going to I could sit here and wait uh, uh, 30 seconds or a minute, but I'm going to go to the globe, all right? I'm going to go back to PlayStation 2. I'm going to scroll down to SOCOM 2. SOCOM 2 XD. Now, these are the people that are in here. Back to the... And there, just went right there. Network reachable? Yes. So I'm good. These are the people that it sees in here. Sometimes you see more people on different orbs. It all depends. But most of the time, you want to see everyone's ping. Where it says ping, you want to see... Sometimes there's so often one person might say establishing. All right. You can... Uh, I want to type something I just go down here in the bottom and just type you know what's up guys whatever and then it'll come up right here all right I'm gonna exit out of here quickly go back to Arizona and once you get all that information this is really crucial all right I just uh, wanted to make sure everyone knows it's it's it takes a little time to get used to uh, maneuvering on here uh, I'm, I'm on a Arizona again it hasn't been detected my my uh, PS2, PS3 yet, but it will in a moment. I'm just going to go down to PS2i, wait, and we go down back to SOCOM 2. And for the most part, I just come up here. Once I see all the people, if I hit this uh, file system a couple times, I can set arenas. Like if I want to create a game, uh, I don't have any contacts. I just get it so I can see the people here. I see pretty much everyone's ping except for this guy here. I'll go down and hit I'm just trying to join you know back you know you can type anything now I want to check see you now it's configured and for the most part you're done once it's configured it says network reachable yes I'm locked and it's got my I'm good to go I can start I can go on my PlayStation right now and I'll go if I don't see a room that's the thing I'll hit refresh it a couple times if I don't see the room pop up, you can go into how we used to create a game, and you can go in there and pre pretend like you create a game real quickly, and then come out. If you don't see a room still, and and you can type a, is there a room up? Then just go to another orb. You know, go to uh, a different one, and then eventually 
uh, the room will come up. I hope this helps everyone. Please, I'm, it's a lot of information I'm trying to get in, but once you get this and you're locked,